What's going on, gentlemen? Today, we're going to talk about why you need a holding company. Why you need to establish yourself some asset protection. We're going to make the assumption that you have a business, it's up and running, you're making sales, you're making money, and maybe perhaps you're a sole proprietor. Let's say you're making at least ten to twenty thousand dollars per month, somewhere around there. Now, why would you need a holding company? And first and foremost, what is a holding company? How does a holding company help you? The first thing is a holding company is a company that is exclusively, haha, <laughs> exclusively designed to collect money. That is its primary purpose. No other purpose. It's designed to collect money. Now, how do you get money to that holding company? You have a subsidiary, or what I like to call a baby LLC, which is the operating company. You can have one up to 10, up to 20. Uh, probably 10 is a max, then you have to create another holding company. But that's like super, super advanced stuff. So you've got your holding company and you have your operating company. Now, you must form your holding company first. Create a company later, but it's a little sloppy and it can be invalidated by the Internal Revenue Service or a lawyer. So just to keep it clean, you establish your holding company first. And why do you want to establish your holding company is age. You know you can sell a holding company, right? You can have a company that can be five, six, seven years old and that can actually be worth money to someone because you have tax forms, you have uh, the registrations up to date and all this that actually can be worth a little cash to someone. You create the holding company, then through the holding company, you organize the operating company so they're linked. You cannot go out and create a holding company and then create this separate um, LLC and then somehow write money between them. It doesn't work that way. Because then you would have to file two tax forms for each holding, each company. So you don't really want that. Now, you've got all that done. Why does this make sense for you? Number one, if you were single, or single before you got married, I know, and you actually didn't do this, then you did this after you got married, guess what? That is a property created during the marital, the, the marriage. That's a marital asset, even if her name is nowhere on it. She has legal claim to your company. Now, since you're a smart bear and you're a smart cookie, you're creating this stuff before you get married. Now, see, that's a whole nother ball game. You create the holding company, you create the operating company before you get married. Because anything that is created during the marriage is going to be treated as marital assets. Now, if you are broke Dick Danny, a penniless Priscilla, and you have this, but there's no money there, she's not gonna try to come after it. She's like, why do I want 50% of nothing? Or 50% of $100, that makes no sense. So you're not gonna worry about her coming after you for that. However, if you start this business before you get married, and you have it as a sole prop, and it's making money, and then, you know, let's say it makes a million, two million a year, after you married and then you go ahead and formally organize this guess what she has legal claim to that yes she does so this is why it's very important that you form this stuff and the reason i'm talking about marriage and marital assets is anything that is an asset or produces income that is gained formed organized during the marriage is a marital asset which means let's say you and Peggy Sue split ways. Well, what's going to happen is 
Peggy Sue can lay claim, legally lay claim to your company that she had nothing to do with, but because you were legally married, she has rights. And she's like, okay, well, I want this, and all right, and you don't have the money. Uh, the courts can force you to sell that company to pay her off. I am not kidding. I, I'm saying this because for most people, this is never going to be an issue. Most people don't have assets. Uh, most people don't have a situation where Peggy's coming. It's just not going to be in the cards. But for you, my dear man, my exceptional hustler, this will be a problem for you. And you won't have anyone to talk to because you more than likely, unless you're running with a well-heeled circle, then you'll have plenty of people to talk to. But if you're like the most successful person in your clique, they won't understand. And they'll be like, well, I'll just pay her the money. Get rid of her, you know, get you another one. With little regard to the fact of how much that you had to put out to create that. It doesn't matter. All right, so that's the first scenario. Uh, second scenario, why you need a holding company, an operating company, for business credit, to properly develop business credit to get to those big boy lines. You're going to need that. Uh, the third reason is peace of mind and sanity. Currently, I have a situation, family court situation, and because I have this network in place, she can't get at any of the money that's in that corporation. Let me say this again. Neither she nor the courts can get at any money in this corporation. This is the legal structure. Now, why does this legal structure work? Because holding companies in corporate law are stronger than family law. They're not going to invalidate these things. Uh, say, say you have a pension. O.J. Simpson had a pension, right? Uh, when the Goldmans sued him, they couldn't get, they couldn't attach his pension. There, there are certain things that are off the limits during these type of actions: gifts, pensions, trust funds, all kinds of things that are off the table legally. You don't have to run, you don't have to hide, you don't have to uh, do any of these nefarious things to protect yourself because legally she has no right, titles, or anything to this money. And this is why it is to the utmost importance to you to form this stuff, to start organizing your business like this before you get married, before you have kids before you do any of these actions because once you have the kid or once you get married unless you really know the law very well you're screwed you're absolutely fundamentally screwed because here's another reason that you want to do this the average man walking into a family court situation has a job And the family courts are ill-prepared and ill-equipped to deal with business owners. It is commonly known in the family court arena that business owners are the hardest ones to get alimony out of, child support out of, because as a business owner, you control your income. Let me say that again. As a business owner, you control your income. That's on you. No one else can tell you what to do with your business. No one else can do that. So this is why it's very, very important that you start to think like this before you get married, before you have kids. Because socially, we have been induced and ingrained that having kids out of wedlock is cool. It's really cool. You have a lot of famous couples who are having kids and not married, and it's just a thing to do. But see, once that woman has a child with you, she legally, for all practical purposes, is your wife. There is no marriage ceremony, but legally, 
you create an obligation unless you structure it a certain way between this woman and legally she has access to your income. I'm being quiet because a lot of people don't really understand what happens. Uh, I knew in my situation what was happening and this is why I was so proactive. This is why I like just a word to the wise. If someone's taking you to child support court and you get served, do not fail to answer that. I don't, I don't care if you know what you're doing or not. Answer it. Uh, ask for a continuance if you need to get a lawyer because what happens is once that machine restarts, it is hard to stop. It is hard to halt because this, the, the machinery is designed to extract wealth out of you and to pass it on to someone else. I'll get into this more on my Disruptive Mail channel, so be sure to subscribe to that. But What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020. What this is, because, you know, there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an FBA course or you'll have a how to run ads course. But there is no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions. I'm in a ClickFunnels group and I just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education. So what I'm putting together and this is from learning from this. This is B school for hustlers. Um, funny thing is, I, I created this about three years ago. And I created a Stripe account for it, and the Stripe account was still open. So apparently, they don't have a problem with B-School for Hustlers. So in, in any case, we could get around that. But let me take you through the whole process. Now, this will include an updated version of the Art of Holding, and I'm going to get into that. So you got two ways to get in here, 1600, one and done and 18 times 125 per month. So you got two ways to get in here. And this pricing is just going to be available while I'm beginning. Because once I build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this. Because this is the there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that you know we're going to do and let's see. Um, really don't want to be there. Let's do this. Let's go to B School for Hustlers. You like that? You like that? You're the lion. The zebra is the money. Go get that money. That's the world we live in. All right. Here it is. So what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses once again the courses are not done as these courses come online like how to market and sell on youtube that will be a course and you know it's not 100 percent ready and how to make more money from Broke Dick Danny to pay Percy. That's going to be a course. The strategic holding company, how to set up and deploy. There's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward. The Google Ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads. 
How to Create and Sell Online Courses for Fun and Profit. The Hustler's Mindset Course, How to Change Your Thinking for Abundance. I'm going to go deep there. How to Make Money with Content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The Money Management Course, How to Prep Your Financial Love for Happiness and Joy. And the Money Game, How to Play and Win. So what you're going to be doing is getting... Because I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses. And, you know, need to get rid of that. Because, um, because I'm already got, I'm adding stuff here. And. I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this. But I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up. a rugged, durable online business. Because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses, they're not bad. But the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive. Uh huh. So we're going to do this for because I'm going to add more to this. Two ninety nine. Let's get rid of that free. But essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses, because the Google ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube. Do a course on that. How to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that you know many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out so you will have these courses they will be done they'll be available you will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this i want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school you know and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that if I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out. Because there's some stuff I'm mulling over. Because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, This is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy, that's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the Hustler's Mindset course second. Then you're going to do How to Make More Money from Broke Dick Danny to Pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the Strategic Holding Company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense. Because let's take the money management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do? 
you, you, it, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on disruptive mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that. And you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer. Right. This pricing is, you know, because I'm pretty much going to do the hustlers mindset course after the money management course. Then we're going to get how to make more money from broke dick Danny to pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the strategic holding company. I've got probably 75% of the content already, so that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn, and process and begin doing very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um. You're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen. Now, this isn't the T-shirt. That isn't the t-shirt. <clears throat> I'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt. And that's also included in the course. It may be a long sleeve. I may do a long sleeve. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But I feel that this is a welded rounded curriculum for you to make money online. Because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you. The power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month, and my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels, because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more. Because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like Disruptive Mail. Disruptive Mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to Disruptive Mail and I'm starting to see results. So, and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this and all this happened today. I built this out today. I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it and now that you know it's fully out of my head i felt very productive i felt very energized i felt really really good that this thing is done so this is what's going to drop this is what's going to happen and the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course there's already content there there's training already there and I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020. 
I will include that in this offer, the t-shirt, we will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So I, I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google Ads course, I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you, you, will, you will actually start, you know, seeing me run ads and stuff. Because I've got a budget. I'm going to start running ads. And... I'm going to do a course after I get to running this. So, and you know, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. That's going to be a winning class. So there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business. And for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. Um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.